Hi everyone, I am Umar Sheikh and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Australia Immigration Matters. In today's video, I am going to discuss how to add newborn baby in your existing visa application or in your residency status. If you have become a new parent or you are about to become a parent, you must be thinking how to add your baby in your existing visa subclass. So let's get started to learn how to manage this. So we can broadly classify the scenarios in two different categories. Number one, if the baby is born outside Australia and the second scenario could be if the baby is born in Australia. So we will consider and explain you about the scenarios in both of these categories one by one. So let's first consider the scenario of the baby born outside Australia. So if one parent is an Australian citizen at the time of the baby's birth, your baby is eligible for Australian citizenship by descent. Now, if you want to travel to Australia with your baby and if your baby is eligible for Australian citizenship by descent, you need the extract of Australian citizenship by descent before you apply for an Australian passport. Now, until that time, if your baby has not yet acquired Australian citizenship by descent, you can apply for an Australian visitor visa for the time being on a passport issued by the country where you are currently residing in. So this is the scenario number one. Now let's talk about the second scenario. If one parent holds, at least one parent holds a permanent residency visa at the time of the baby's birth. Now your baby is eligible for permanent residency. And if you want to travel to Australia with your visa, uh, with your baby, if you want to bring your baby to Australia as a permanent resident, then you need to apply for a child subclass 101 visa in this case. Your baby must be outside Australia when you apply for the child visa. Alternatively, if you wish to bring your baby to Australia temporarily, explore the option of visitor visa so that you can take your baby and travel with the baby to Australia while your child visa is being processed. Since the child visa is taking longer time, so it could be possible to apply for the visitor visa for the time. Now let's talk about the scenario number three, where one parent has an ongoing visa application, which is still unfinalized at the time of the baby's birth. In this case, your baby can be added to your existing visa application. How to do that? You must tell Department of Home Affairs immediately about your baby as soon as possible, the baby as soon as the baby is born. Even if they don't have a passport yet, still you, you have to inform them as the passport biodata page can be provided later as well. Now, how you have to inform Department of Home Affairs is important to understand. As soon as the baby is born, you have to sign into your EMI account and go to your visa application and upload these documents. You have to submit form 1022, which is called notification of changes in circumstances, where you need to mention that the circumstances are changed in your visa application where a new baby is born. Uh, uh, in addition to the form 1022, you need to submit a clear colored scan copy of your baby's birth certificate and also a clear colored scan copy of your baby's passport bio data page once these two documents are available. You, you do not need to wait for your birth certificate for the baby's birth certificate and the passport uh, to, uh, to submit the form 1022, the notification of changes in circumstances, which should be submitted as soon as possible. Now, what happens next when you uh, submit these documents on your ME account? Now, the Department of Home Affairs will let you know if you need to do anything else or if you need to provide anything else. Generally, they include your baby in your unfinalized visa application and your baby will also get the same visa for which you have applied. Your baby, however, your baby must also meet the certain requirements for visa grant. For example, it, can, it may include uh, the meeting the health requirement, it uh, it may include uh, the visa grant being included in a sponsor. It, it should be granted uh, similarly as you have got a sponsorship, then the baby should also be part of the sponsorship if applicable. And also the baby must have a valid passport for travel, which is like a must requirement. So once the baby is born and you have provided all the documents, they uh, the Department of Home Affairs will ask for the baby's uh, health medical examination as well. Now, let's take up the cases of the second category if the baby is born in Australia. Now, if one parent is an Australian citizen or a permanent residency ho visa holder at the time of the baby's birth, and if the baby is born in Australia, then your baby is an Australian citizen, citizen all, uh, automatically straight away. 
a baby born in australia is automatically an australian citizen if at least one parent was an australian citizen or a permanent resident at the time of the birth your baby might also be a citizen of your home country in case of a dual citizenship allowance now let's take up the case of a second scenario where if one parent holds a temporary visa and the temporary visa is a work visa such as a subclass 482 visa at the time of the baby's birth in this case your baby will be considered to hold any visa that you and the other parent uh, held when the baby was born your baby will also be added to any unfinalized visa applications which you might have submitted to department of home affairs while having your 482 visa now what you have to do you have to follow the same uh, same uh, steps in order to inform department of home affairs about the changes in circumstances or once your baby is born you have to sign in on your MB account and upload these documents which include uh, form 1022 notification of changes in circumstances a clear, clear colored scanned copy of your baby's birth certificate and a clear colored scanned copy of your baby's passport bio data page once these documents are available so the steps are same in the case of the pay if in the case if the parents are holding a 482 kind of work visa in australia and the baby is born in australia now let's take up the case and the scenario where one parent holds a temporary visa but the temporary visa is of a, of these subclasses for example 476 485 500 or 590 which are generally the student and post-study visa related uh, subclasses at the time of the baby's birth in this case your baby will be considered to hold any visa that you and the other parent held when the baby was born so the baby's rights and the visa subclass will be the same as the parents however your baby will also be added to any unfinalized visa applications you might have submitted at the time of your baby's birth it is possible that someone is on a student visa and has also and have also applied for uh, another work visa or another skilled migration visa so the, in those visa applications or as well your baby will be added but in this case if your visa application in me account is finalized you can submit your documents and add a baby to a subclass 476 485 500 or 590 visa web form we will provide the link of this web form in the description of this video as well in addition to the form 1022 now having said that considering all these scenarios whichever scenario is applicable to you you can follow the guidelines with that note i would like to thank everyone on on behalf of australia immigration matters keep following us on our social media platforms and stay tuned for more updates